Hello and welcome to Lots of Food and Barbecue. Today I'm going to do my first sous vide and for that I'm going to try making topside lamb or lamb roast beef as we call it here in Sweden. Uh, I'm going to spice that with, it's very simple, salt, pepper, garlic. I'm going to have a twig of rosemary and I'm going to marinate it now. It's um, 8.15 in the morning and then I'm going to start cooking it at about 3. Uh, it should go in the sous vide machine for about an hour and a half at 132 to 134 degrees Fahrenheit, 55 Celsius, and then I'm going to sear it, serve it with some potatoes, I think, and uh, goat cheese sauce. Anyway, hang on and I'll show you what we've got. So the meat in question is serving sized um, fillets. And I lost my knife. That just needs to be trimmed a little bit. I'm gonna to try to remove the excess fat and silver skin. Something like that. There's a little bit of a gristle over here. I think that's gonna to have to stay in there. I don't really wanna cut this too far too much. Okay, so I think I'm going to stick with that and then move on to the next one. See you in a bit. So that's the meat. Uh, and of course we need a little bit of chopped garlic with this. So I'm just going to chop this up into smaller pieces, not going to make it very fine. I'm going to go in the bag with a little bit of butter, the meat and a twig of rosemary. At least that's what I found in one of the recipes that I'm going to try to copy. So we'll see. Lamb, rosemary, and garlic is match made in heaven. Anyway, so um, I've got a grinder with um, pepper. I've got salt, garlic flakes, and it's three different kind of peppers. It's uh, black, red, or rosé, and white. And I'm just gonna spice this all over. Start with that. Um, so I've prepared four sous vide bags um, I've got them on a roll so I can um, just um, cut them off at the length that I want and I'm going to use them um, with two pieces of meat in each. I hope that's going to work and to help me get them in there I'm going to need the help of my lovely wife. So she's agreed to help me out with this. Okay so the trick with these bags is that I've sealed them once in the bottom and then to fold down the edges so as not to get anything on the side which we then will fold up and seal with the vacuum sealer. Uh, but my hands are dirty so Helen is going to help me. And there we go. So we're going to put one down there, second one on that side, a little twig of rosemary. I'm actually going to tear that up in a couple of pieces I think. Something like that. We'll put a piece of butter in there. It's not going to matter any, anything now that we're keeping this in the marinade. Okay, so some garlic, um, a little bit of butter for the cooking later on after I've taken them from the fridge and uh, time to seal that one up. So we're going to do the next one. All four bags sealed up. Uh, I'm going to put them in the fridge and let them rest until uh, this afternoon and then uh, we're going to cook them. So I'll bring you back when it's time for that. So we're back. Uh, we put the meat in the sous vide machine about an hour ago, so it's time to start our sides. Um, I'm gonna make some rice, very easy. One rice, two water, and then I forgot the stock cube. So I'm gonna put the stock cube of vegetable stock in there. Uh, we're gonna have some tomatoes, same spices as we used on the, on the lamb. Garlic, pepper, salt. We're just gonna put these in the oven at 200. Celsius uh, 
390 Fahrenheit. Uh, we went to pick some mushrooms. We uh, actually got about, I would say about 35 pounds of it. So we're gonna use some of them just to fry them up in a little bit of butter. We're gonna make the sauce of um, a little piece of goat cheese uh, that we're gonna let slowly melt and then we're gonna add the uh, a cup of cream to this. This is, um, I don't know, I would probably find a weight somewhere. It's 200 grams, that's uh, seven ounces of goat cheese. I am gonna remove white skin on this and uh, just use the inner part. Anyway, so I'm gonna do that and I'll meet you by the stove. Okay, there we are. The rice is cooking and I melted the cheese and added the cream and some spices, the same spices I used on the lamb actually. Uh, I've got a hot skillet to the left and a slightly cooler skillet to the right and I'm gonna sear one the content of one bag first and um, then I'm gonna move them to the cooler skillet so that I could uh, raise the temperature in them a little bit because my wife wants the meat well done and uh, as it is now it's medium or actually it's uh, medium rare I would say um, anyway so I'm gonna go do that I'll sear them on both sides and then m move them to the other skillet and then I'm gonna do the same to the rest the others I'm just gonna sear and move uh, to the tray to the left uh, and uh, just wrap them in a little bit of aluminum foil Time to plate this up. Um, first off, I'm really interested in finding out what this meat looks like. Uh, it looks like the fibers are going that way, so I'll cut it this way. Let's see if you can see that. <laughs> it's extremely moist. I probably never cooked lamb this moist no one's looking so I think I'm gonna have a taste hmm I'd say that pretty damn good hmm very nice anyway so I'll slice it thinly and then pop it up on a plate just like so Take a little bit of the garlic that was cooked with it. And then we need um, put a couple of tomatoes on there. There we go, pretty warm actually. Um, and a couple of mushrooms. Remove that rosemary, something like that. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of the sauce on there. I wonder if I could just put some sriracha on this. And there we go. Lamb roast beef suede alalasse. First time ever. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be good. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.